ID Android users, I think all of you like to travel and discover new places and that is why you need a very good application that will help you in different cases. Advanced Location Detector is the best suit for you. Uh, just enable, a, uh, okay, enable it and see what it could help you, how it could help you. Uh, first of all, I don't have enabled GPS. Let's go to the configuration screen. Here you can configure your application uh, for your needs and also you need to set GPS. Uh, okay, I set enabled GPS. Now we are able to back to the main screen and wait while while okay it detected my GPS coordinate as you can see this line is red that means uh, it's not the GPS signal it's most likely uh, detected by uh, Wi-Fi network anyway okay aha uh -huh. it was okay now it's green uh, the GPS is detected and we can save this uh, location let's name it like test for example test and use auto naming feature save uh -huh. accuracy is too low uh, that's why it uh, asks you that maybe you want to wait until it get better but let's say oh let's save it as it is okay it's saved now you can go to location list and find your uh, location you just saved. For example, here is our location. The main goal of our application is to navigate to save location. Let's choose navigate option. And it immediately show us where it is. Mm, we can also find, for example, uh, I saved some stop uh, location like London for example and choose navigate to London and as you can see the distance is 1634 kilometers from here in that direction and for example if uh, my, my uh, sensors are calibrated already and that's why it will work fine if I rotate it it's always show the right direction but if you uh, use the first time this application it would be better to rotate a device to calibrate all sensors okay and now we can go back get back to the location list and uh, see what it provides us <coughs> provide with um, you can see it the different options you can choose and uh, most important after the navigation is show map uh, where you can see different things you okay uh, you can also add the new places uh, right uh, right from the map for example uh, just put put uh, marker somewhere and put uh, and choose add mm. add and here you can again put something and save this location so this location is saved already and if you want if you want you can show or hide all location and as you can see we just saved this location uh, you can also tap here and see different uh, options the same as you can find on the location list and uh, also you can share your uh, current location with different applica applications or just via google mail uh, okay it's not so important oops sorry um, and 
what else? Okay, let's go to the map again and uh, as you can see sometimes you need uh, to choose for example different modes like satellite mode to to discover what place where where is it it just to uh, oops 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 uh -huh, okay okay so you can see our point is located in some so somewhere at the, some bridge maybe it's just a stop uh, point I've had uh, also there are different options you can choose show me for example it shows where where am I go to main screen uh -huh, it's okay so there are also favorite lists it's uh, as you can see location list is too big for me and if you need to check some uh, to 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 add some well let's 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 add this this one add to favorites you can add to favorites and uh, if you go to the favorites list you will just see only uh, locations that were added to the uh, favorites we can remove it if you need if you don't need okay and there are different modes like views uh, so it's just a compass compass view it shows you direction to the north if you need mm, that's I believe it's, it's there are a lot of options but that was a that were a main options that are interesting for you thanks and thanks for using it